Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you how we mounted our four-wheel drive awning to our bus. So we don't have any footage of assembling the actual awning itself, unfortunately. Uh, but we still thought how we mounted it is useful information. So it's a really short video, but one that hopefully some people will find useful. Uh, it, the awning itself is fairly easy to assemble just following the instructions. Uh, the reason we went a four-wheel drive awning is because they're significantly cheaper than the caravan ones. Like a Fiamma awning, although it's like you know, four meters long or whatever, it's thousands of dollars. Where I think this on special was 150 and it's 2.5 meters by three meters. So it still gives you heaps of space outside and it's dirt cheap. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, so we're just installing a four wheel drive awning onto the bus. These awnings come with a bracket to go onto a roof rack so they've got a really long one that you then sort of clamp to the roof rack and then join the awning to so because we've got just the bus wall what we've done is cut it in half and got these L brackets from Bunnings and done an extra hole so that they line up like that to form a U and then what we're gonna do is pop rivet this one to the bus bolt these two together and then this will bolt to the awning as usual so we'll show you once it's more together so we're using our 4.8 mil diameter by 12.7 mil long with a flanged head yep large flanged head uh, to secure the brackets to the bus so we've put each bracket 50 centimeters in from where we want the awning to end, which leaves 1.5 meters between them. And then it just holds on, two bolts go into the rails of the awning, like as per the instructions, but then it bolts onto that U bracket. And obviously prior to this, we just built the awning to the instructions. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, if we were to do it again, we would probably put the brackets a little bit further in. So there's like a third, a third in the middle, and then a third over the edge. The middle of ours is sort of bowed a little bit. Hasn't really affected how it works. It still works fine. It's, yeah, just a little bent. So I think that would probably have fixed that. But otherwise, yeah, been really good. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, see ya.